Hello. Okay, today we're going to talk about literature, but first we're going to do a little show and tell. I'm going to show, and I'm hoping that you will do the telling. So, I have a few images for you to look at. I'm going to give you some other examples. Can you read my writing? It's pretty good. The act on a keyboard, uh, the bald eagle. They're symbols. Thank you. Um, okay. Um, so, as I said, we're going to be talking about literature today. And I want to kind of extrapolate the symbol idea to things in stories. Books, movies, and stories. So, they're really easy to recognize in commerce as logos. But sometimes in stories, it's a little more difficult. So, I'm going to give you some more examples of things from stories that I'm hoping you're familiar with. So, we're going to start with the glass slipper in Cinderella. The straw house in the three little pigs. Aladdin's lamp. Snow White's um, The Mirror. So, can we start by just finding some things that these items have in common if, to help us maybe recognize what literary symbols are, how to find them in stories? Um, they all express like a desire or something. Like okay. Aladdin's lamp, the genie comes out and he gets wishes. And the mirror and Snow White, like they, you know, she wants to find out who's the fairest of them all. Okay. Um, and the glass slipper, she wants the prince. So maybe wants or desires. Okay. So could we maybe say they all do some sort of a job? In the yeah. story? Yeah. Okay. They have a job. Anything else? Well, I'm not sure about the straw house, but the other ones, they could represent like something they want to, like she was saying, like desire or obtain or have, like the glass slippers, like status. they maybe represent something else. So I think that's important. So 
Does everyone agree they might stand for something in the story? Okay, Kyle? Well, at least in those examples, it's um, like vulnerability, like the straw house, you know, sees her going down the mirror. Um, she shows a queen, you know, piece of bears on the wall because she's essentially like conceited. She wants to be the, you know, the best. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot her, you know, she, if she doesn't fit, you know, she's stuck as a servant um, in the land, you know, that she's stuck in it, so. Okay. Okay. Um, so would you say they're all maybe important in some way? Mm -hmm. Either by being vulnerable or standing for something else? They're important things in the story. The stories maybe couldn't survive without them very well. Um, what about their, how recognizable they are? Do you think they have any commonality in just being recognizable in the story? We've maybe all heard of them. Um, when we read the story, we remember them. They're well known and pretty unique. Okay. They're well known. They're all sort of visual. Okay. Um, I'd like to play do the question play this game in reverse, I guess. Um, so what I want to do is stories that you've all read or, or seen and ask you to try to um, try to think of some things that potentially could be symbols just based on the list that we came up with. They're visual, they're important parts of the story, we remember them when we read the story, they possibly could stand for something else even if we don't know what it is. Okay? Okay. So, I'm going to have you um, divide into groups, two and two, and Elizabeth and Kyle, I'm going to have you um, uh, think about the Wizard of Oz, and then um, Drew and Tom, how about Jack and the Beanstalk, okay? And so as you think of your, your potential symbols, I'll record them on the board, okay? himself, the wizard. Oz, himself. the great powerful Oz. And we said the brain, the heart, <coughs> and courage. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. 
question. Good. <laughs> okay. For Jack and the Bean, so we had the giant. The giant, that's yeah. good. So we get the idea. We know they might be important in the story, but we don't exactly know specifically how or why. Is that, am I safe in saying that so far? Okay. So, they have some things in common, so that's how we identify them as symbols, right? So I want to get a little more narrow now and just take one of the symbols and maybe brainstorm together on some of their traits. Okay, so I, I think the ruby slippers might be the most recognizable. Okay. So what about those slippers anyway? What can we what can we say about them? They're sparkly. They are. <laughs> and red. Okay. They're sparkly. Mm -hmm. well, Which wants them? Yes, they're coveted, right? They're like constantly referred to. Constantly referred to. I'll just say ever present. Because um, there's a person who sort of inherits the, the slippers. What did they do for her? When she clicks her heels three times, when they send her back home. So they give her Confidence. some sort of advantage that other people in Oz maybe don't have. They give her power and advantage. So. Everyone knows her, and, and that's one of the reasons why, right? Okay. <laughs> and then going back to what Elizabeth said about people want them, um, not only do people want them, but they're willing to do, to be corrupt in order, in order to get them. So anything else? That's probably, that's all of what I thought. Anybody have anything else on the slippers? So if we could take this one step, um, one step farther. Is there any kind of a trend here, anything at all that you think the slippers might, um, symbolize in, in, in our lives? Um, is there anything else? And there's no wrong answer, by the way, because there are many symbols in the story probably that work on lots of different levels, but um, 
what gives people power, celebrity, sparkle? I mean, do you think they are a symbol for something? And if so, based on these traits, um, can you think of anything that, that it might be? And again, no wrong answers. Kyle? I'd say like morality. Um, like, you know, the witch, the witch once said she's willing to play, you know, kill for it and be corrupt. Um, you know, she hasn't, she doesn't use it as a, she doesn't abuse the power of it. She uses it to, like, help everyone else get their, you know, the brain, the heart, the courage. So morality. Anybody else? Anything else? 